All right, welcome to part two. Sorry for the abrupt ending in the last episode, but right, I said I have a kind of funky mic, and it's not really mine. It uh, uh, belongs to the person I live with, and, well, he also needs it, so we have to share it. But, um, and, you know, the, today's a new day from um, yesterday's video, and I thought about it some more, and I realized that I skipped a part, and that's why I was having problem, you know, like with a no clip. So I'm just going to redo this room, or I guess this puzzle, really, and, you know, do it right without no clipping, because that's why I was having so much trouble and why I was stuck and why I felt like um, I couldn't get anywhere. Oh, that's right. I also need this. Um, oh, well, yep, see, now I'm soft block, so I can just go around here. Oh, please. What? Okay, that's weird. You can tell I play tested the hell out of that. <laughs> all right, let's uh. All right, well that's not really good, but let's just try this again. And you see, um, pressing that button does not drop that cube. But um, before I said there were two tunnels. Uh, for like anti soft lock tunnels, and one will reset the blue cube, and one will not. There we go. There we go. Now I have a cube. That's a second cube. All right. So before, what I did is I brought the cube over here, and then I just no clipped into this room and brought the cube, which you know, not really good. You can't do that in the real puzzle like this. You can't mimic those steps. So what you want to do is bring this cube in here, I think, so you could actually get over. And then. I remember, so there's some funky stuff in this map. I know I want to do something like that. But my question is, how do I get past this fizzler? Yeah, I still don't really know the solution. I forgot it. I tested it like crazy, but it is a fairly complicated puzzle. And once I finished it, I was just done with it. All right, so this is getting me nowhere if I do this. I, n I know I need the laser. I need the laser going through this cube, passing through here. Okay, maybe, maybe I, this is the part where I moved the red cube to over here, like this. And I have these special grades to lift a button, or lift a cube a little bit, otherwise the laser won't go over this button. So that was important. It took me a while to figure out all this stuff. Two portal. Yeah, 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 it was this weird ass crap. Let me do that. And then you reset the cube. And the laser comes through. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so a lot of my puzzles usually have something weird. Like before, I talked about my strategy in making puzzles. How I, you know, start with the design. And I explore all the different possibilities um, that I could do with that design. And, you know, stuff that may be possible in the design. Stuff that, you know, is possible. And I see, like, what is the most interesting? What could be the most complicated? And I force that solution. And when I do that, I can find other more unique solutions. And, um, you know, I find stuff like that where, because before there was um, like a one by one by four little block here that just went through here. And the laser had to go over that block, but it still had to be low enough for a cube. Um, so it could like hit a laser cube, not go like right over the laser cube. And there's also stuff like this where the laser goes over the button, like just barely. So it has all these weird angles that you won't really find in any other maps. Okay, so this is good. Maybe I do this part now. I know my whole goal is to get a cube up here. I can't, uh, yeah, to get the blue cube up here, but first I need to get the red cube in here. I 
I think I could do that now. Bring this red cube out. Like that. Okay. And yeah, this is, I reset this cube and I do a cube swap. Oh, I gotta jump off the cube first. Like that. Then the red cube will come over here. I can reset this. I now have both cubes. And I'm pretty sure I want the red cube in here. Okay, yeah, this is starting to come back to me now. I move it over here and I have this nice um, angle lane, lined up. God. Yeah, there's a lot of angles. You know, remember, I remember saying before that this is very open. It's a very open design. And it took me a while to remove all the unintended solutions while keeping the intended route. And it's mainly because of these um, these fields that are helping me with that. But I, I was just never able to remove these. I tried for a very long time. Okay. I set that up. I'm thinking, let me just save it. Because to get a cube up there, I need X. I also need that. Yeah. All right, hold on, I'm not quite done yet. Let's go back to this because that was important. I want to move this cube to this side and I don't know, I'll just aim it here for now. I don't really think I need to, but just in case. And then come back over here. Okay. Maybe I move this portal here like that. Put this here so that field goes away. And then um, once I move this portal, this um, laser field will activate. But if you just hold forward, um, you won't get, you won't die. So yeah, you know another weird thing that the sheepdog style, I suppose. All right, there we go. So now I just reset this cube and voila, about halfway done with the test now, toggle. Okay, now I have to think what's the next best approach here. Well, my goal now is to get the red cube up here this blue cube will go onto this button. So first of all, um, let's move you over here. I don't know. I'll just put you there for now. Okay. I need to find a way to reset the, the, the blue cube. Before I do anything else. Maybe I go to the anti soft lock. I think that's what I do. Because I think I made it part of the solution, I, c I couldn't remember. Right, let me look at the description. Um, wait, maybe part, yeah, I don't I missed that. So yeah, and I say maybe because you could actually reset the, um, the cube um, on this panel right here, um, as you do the toggle. Okay. So there we are. There we are. Okay, good. And with that, 
I could bring the red cube up there quite easily. And now this part is uh, very weird. Um, it took a while, it took me a while to find the best approach on how to do this. And um, I tried many different things, but I can't remember what's the best approach of doing this part because it's quite precise of where you have to put this cube, but I can't exactly remember where that spot is. I think, I'm pretty sure it has to be lined up with this. I think, do I just do this? Let me just save it just in case. And then I come down here. I reset this cube. I think. <laughs> come around again. Point it like that. Portal there. Portal here. Oh yeah, no, you don't want to be lined up. That's right. Okay. Well, now I know that. So you want to move this cube in a spot where it's not lined up with this laser. But you can still see it. I think this is good. All right, let's do what I just did. Reset the blue cube. Oop, oop. There we go. Man, can you just imagine me? <laughs> all the hours I spent play testing this. All right, yeah. There we go. Okay, now what? Maybe I wanted to move this closer. See, I can't quite remember how I did this. Or, no, 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 maybe... No, that's not right either. Uh, maybe it was this. There we go. And now... Nope, nope, nope. I want to do... Line this up. Pretty sure that's good. Come through here. Stand on this button. Orange. Orange. There! All right, man. Yeah, definitely one of my more difficult tests. And the the puzzle went through so many iterations that I have trouble remembering it. It's like, it, because it changed so much. All right, there we go. That was that nightmare. Okay, good, an easy one, pull. Yep, another remake. So sometimes going through the workshop, I just get a random burst of, um, inspiration that's what happened with the sun okay this one i remember it's all fairly easy until like this final part and i don't know if i quite remember it too well you know i didn't spend too much time on this one because it's a uh, quite simple yeah I just get stuck in that grading for a while all right so I remember I need to get this cube onto that button. And see, I'm just trying to reuse the funnel as much as possible. There we are. I think I made a whole video. Um, yeah, I did make a whole video of me building this map, like my whole th um, thought process, but I didn't use the mic. I just typed it all into like the, the, like the YouTube description. But some things about the original is like the cube retrieval was like a very separate part of the puzzle. It was like, um, it was like behind this wall, it'd be like over here and you just bring the cube over and that whole area is only used one. So I wanted to find a way to have a cube retrieval, but it's like part of this whole main room. And the, the best way I found to do that is to design the puzzle first and then add that first step of the cube retrieval. Okay, let me save it. Because otherwise, if I start with the cube retrieval and then build the puzzle around that, I feel like it's going to be more difficult. So if I could just do the puzzle, get that out of the way, and I can find a, a good spot for the cube retrieval, and you know, there, and there was. Alright, so... Alright, so I gotta remember how to do this. So I bring the cube over. 
That's right, and I want to catch it on this. I think. And then I will move this over. And then I pull it again. Yep, that's why it's called pull. And then quickly do that. There we are. So now I have this cube to get up here. And now I need to remember how to do this. So I remember I need to fling the cube here, then quickly use um, the funnel to get up here. And while I'm up here, I could pull the cube, right? Let me see. I could see that. Yeah. And then onto the button. Okay. No, I do remember how to do this. It's just, um, it's been a while. Okay, apparently I messed that up. Let's do that. Get it back. Yeah, another thing I don't like about this map is that you can't really see the cube um, flinging. Right, it's sort of blind, so you have to guess. There we go. And I, yeah, I messed up then. So this whole test went quite smoothly until this last part, which is a little bit finicky to do. There we are. And I'll just speed that up. And now you could just place a blue portal there. There we are. And right, you can't see that. Yeah, I purposely did that because I wanted there to be, um, I don't know. what. I, well, you know, because it placed an orange portal there instead, then the cube will um, be pulled this way and that won't work. I just want to do something like that where you like cancel the funnel. All right. Ascension. All right. So this is where um, I started to do like this uh, darker theme. Um, when I was designing this map, I just wanted to go full out on the detail on the atmosphere. And I'm really proud of how it turned out. Because right, I just I love this view. And you come here and you just look down. I think it looks awesome. And um, when I was designing this map, I wanted the intro to be in the most, like the best spot um, to get a good view of the map. And luckily I had my exit up here. So I just moved my entrance up here. So I get the really cool view of looking down and you can see the exit and the exit criteria um, like right away. So that, I thought that was good. All right. Um, now this map, um, I know by heart. I spent a while playtesting it and also went through some iterations, but I was able to preserve um, the most of the original solution. So you want to spawn the cube. Of course, you don't make it in time, so you have to come all the way over here, use this light bridge. And yeah, this cube or this puzzle um, reuses the elements like crazy. I love it how, the, how it turned out. And I don't like this though. This um this button here and this ant line, because it was not parts because it's only here to prevent an unintended solution. And I was just not able to get rid of it. That's like the only way I could figure out how to get rid of that um solution. Oops. Oops. Um. There's also some issues with the map, like the the original version, but as I updated it, it actually um, got rid of those issues, which I quite like. So, okay, now I'm actually stuck a bit. So what do I want? I want the laser. That's what I want. So let's grab this laser. So this comes down and then, right, remember pull. And it's the same thing. So I just get rid of the laser. And now it could come up. So um, in the original version, I had trouble placing where I wanted the entrance because I could either have it here next to the exit and you see the exit criteria, but this area um, was very visible. So I had a um, part of the map wasn't really visible. And once you get up here, it's like you, there's like two ways of getting up here. Like the one way I just did. And then another way um, that allows you to bring the laser because you actually need a laser up here because right now I don't have one. But in this version, it's impossible to get up here with the laser first, um, or it's possible to get up here 
with the laser before you get up here without the laser, if that makes sense. So you have to get here without the laser and then with the laser. That was not um, an option in the first version because there's like a 50-50 chance maybe if you get up here with the laser or without the laser. And if you did not get up here without, or if you got here without the laser, then you have to like repeat everything again to get the laser up here. So that's a improvement I liked. So now to get up here with the laser, you previously placed the cube over here, hopefully. So you're going to do that, let it rotate once. Orange portal here. Maybe you don't actually have to rotate it. Yeah, you, you don't want to. There we go. And now you just place this here, point it, have it point at a random spot. Press this button so that you can go back. Anti soft lock, that's part of the puzzle. Or, yeah. Okay, now laser collision's on. And there we go. And then use a ghost cube to get up. There we are. And yeah, you see, um, you started to see as like uh, th these maps, uh, my maps progress, um, you know, I start using these concepts like the ghost cube and they just slowly and slowly get more and more complicated. All right, so yeah, do that, spawn the cube. Now you can see, oh, you need a cube up here to get that second cube. So you have this angled panel, which could launch the cube. Yeah, for this map, um, again, I don't have too much to say about it, except that I, I think it's awesome. I had to spend quite a while on it. I wish I was able to remove, maybe, eh, I don't know. I think the amount of portable surfaces are fine. But I wish the, because once you get both cubes in play, the test becomes a little bit too open, in my opinion. And there's like a lot of different ways you could solve the test. Um, and I wish I found a way to um, limit the number of possibilities that you could do. Okay, now I have to remember how to do this. So this is angle. Yeah, you come here and you just fling like that, reusing all these surfaces. And now you can have a portal in here. Move this cube to that um, vertical panel. Jump back. So before you couldn't see the surface there while standing on this button. So you have to fling like that to get a surface there. And just do this. Oops, sorry, you do. That first, that, have the cube reset. There we go. It comes right to you. Now you, I think you just do what you did before, the first time of getting up to that higher um, area. But the only difference is that you're gonna do it with a cube. There we go. Yeah, don't place the wrong portal, otherwise this red cube will reset. There we are. Yeah, another thing I don't like is the design of this room. It's very big for what it is. And I, I couldn't find a way to make it smaller. All right. Now, I'm just gonna leave this cube here. I know the next goal is to get this blue cube over here and I have to get both cubes in here, okay. So let's reset the red cube. And yeah, so I've been doing this where I have these panels or these this geometry that sticks out to make these um, portable surfaces smaller because I don't have portal magnets. They weren't working in the version of BMOD I had. So I found a nice alternative and actually they're a little bit better than portal magnets, you know, that I found, I found out. Um, I can't exactly remember the reason why. I think it's just portals um, find a way to stick better. It's like you have more angles that you can shoot a portal on and they'll stick. There we are. So in this version, um, so right, this will reset the cube and you have to have find a way to have the cube point at its own laser relay that will reset it. Um, 
but if you mess up a little bit, like if the laser like moves off and back on, only even for a half a second, the cube will reset. But um, I come up with a better design of doing the same thing that you see with a, in my map paradox. But um, it's it has a I use a deactivation timer, like a one second deactivation timer, just to prevent that um, that annoying little bit. Okay. All right, I need both cubes over here. Oh, dang. I need both cubes over here so I could you jump up here with both of them, come down with the blue cube. Maybe I'm not quite ready for that. Okay, yeah, no, 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 I remember now. So you have to come around like this with the light bridge, come up. And then, right, reusing these surfaces again. I'm gonna be basically becoming the cube, but I'm gonna be coming up here. And now I can put a portal on the surface. I'm in the exit area. Come through here with a cube. There's a few ways of doing this. Uh, what I'm doing is like the, the true intended way. Because there's a move you could do, and you can repeat it like three times in this test and it all accomplishes like um, resetting the red cube while having a portal up there and you just do that three times in the test and you solve it but there's um three unique ways of solving the red cube from this point on that I just was not able to force so you want to do that yeah orange portal here so now you can have the red cube fling up here catch it and now you have both cubes in here Look at that, amazing. All right. Oops. Okay, actually, these cubes are backwards. I want the blue one on top so I could actually grab it. There we are. I think I could just drop it down, honestly. All right, now I need a light bridge. And to get the light bridge, guess what? I gotta reset the red cube again. That's another thing I don't like is the amount of times you have to reset the red cube. Because it's sort of a long process to reset it. And also, basically resets the entire puzzle except for the position of the blue cube so the whole point of this puzzle is just moving the blue cube around right yeah yeah and then I do this and that's what this is here is for. Okay, that was not good. Let me just reset my portals. There we go. And you could stand on this. There we are. Okay. So now you have the blue cube, and it's getting more and more in play. Now. All right, so there's a, a way to do this without resetting the red cube, and I'm going to try to do that because it's just, you know, a little bit harder. And it's more interesting. Do this. Yeah, and then without using the anti-trap or the, yeah. Oh my gosh. There we go. Come around here. All right, I can't quite remember how to do this part. Okay, no, I remember now. Come down here, place a blue portal. Come through, place an orange portal here. Maybe I'll place an orange portal here. 
So this cube actually does not need to be there. Place blue here, take that off. Okay, maybe, what did I want to do? So I want the red cube in here. <laughs> um, right, I want all of this deactivated. Okay, maybe, let's get this blue cube back. I think I'm doing it right. Let's just come through here. Have this lined up. Like that. Okay, this red cube is not in the best spot, but I think I get everything. Yes, okay. So now everything is activated. And you did not reset the red cube. Good job. So now, oops. You might get back to the exit area. Like so. Find a way to reset the red cube. So I, I think I could just take this off. Come through here. Place the blue portal there. Cube resets, fling it up here. Then I could climb up there, but first. Yeah, see, so I'm doing the same thing again, but there's a, a unique. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember, I remember. Uh, let me just do it. Whoa! Okay, somehow it survived. Alright, I'll put that there. Um, so it was up here, so I got a portal. And what you want to do then, how would you do this? Okay, I remember. So you would bring the red cube into here. You'll then place a portal there, come through here, right? Maybe you do this part later. Actually, no, I don't think you do. There we go. So that's the unique way of getting the cube up here. And then you do this part. up here orange portal to reset the cube and it lands on the exit criteria opening the door there we are okay cool yeah def um one of my more favorite tests i've built you know i really like the puzzle i really like the atmosphere and you see i you know it's very different from the previous test i did like aesthetically and you'll in these next tests you see i um repeat many of the same design choices like dropping the deadly goo by like a few blocks and having these like these under lights, which I think look really nice. Um, and you see, I do have all these angled surfaces and for the deadly goo that come out just a little bit at the end. I'll do that a lot. Um, these like raising the ceiling by like an eight or a quarter and having these lights, you know, just having a little design, something like that um, is what I started doing as well. And having like these um sort of like support beams as I like to call them, um literally throughout the map, like just everywhere. Um, a lot of this is also inspiration from Fumbly Bumbly, who um she will move surfaces in and out by like in a quarter. And you see I do some of that here and you know, these things where you push it back a bit and you have these um these half panels on the edges. So I started doing that a lot. I really like this darker theme of um, these maps because you know, it also makes sense for the game because it is, um, you know, you're like you're deep underground, you're solving room by room. These, you know, it's a very claustrophobic game. So having like a darker atmosphere, is, you know, I find it sort of appropriate. Okay, paradox. Yeah. You can see I start doing some, you know, all these details on the ceilings. I have all these support beams. Yeah. So this test, um, I mean, it's difficult, but it doesn't mean it's a good test. And it, 
and in my opinion, it's not really good because of the ending s solution, I suppose. Like, there's not a lot of information, you know, you're not being really led to the solution. It just kind of happens. You, like, you really have to know what the puzzle is and what's happening to understand what the exit criteria is, which, I mean, isn't really good. You know, you have to be able to lead the player through the puzzle and not do some, like, weird crap like what I did in this one. All right, so yeah, a little bit of timing, which isn't that bad. I made that timer really long. But I really like the how this room turned out. I think it looks really good. But yeah, see again, tried to reuse these surfaces as, or not just surfaces, but you know, all these elements as much as possible. Okay, I almost messed that up. Oh, dang it. <laughs> All right, well, that's actually never happened before in testing. But that's why there's that anti soft lock. All right, wow, that actually turned out really loud. Fast forward the game. And yeah, this is all, again, this puzzle also went through a lot of iterations. Um, so before, I had nothing on top of this button. It was portable, but I had nothing on top of it. And this was flat, and you know, it was like the whole surface was portable. And when I found through testing is that there's an unintended way to solve it. If you have like, oops, uh, let me turn off light. I don't know why laser collision keeps turning on. But if you have a portal here, you can then place a portal there quite easily and you just have the cube oscillate. And that will trigger the dropping of this um, second cube, which is not how I wanted it to happen. So. I was like, all right, let's find a way to uh, remove that possibility. And first, it was um, changing this into like a, a half portable surface. So it was still flat, but like only, you know, half of it was portable. You know, and then that worked fine. But then I found later on that there was an unintended solution. I can't exactly remember. Oh, no, no, no. It was, um, so you eventually get up here and you can shoot a portal there quite easily. I remember something and then that's right that's right so you shoot a portal here and you shoot a portal here and this cube would be on that um button ready so the cube would be oscillating through these portals and you just jump grab the cube like that and then bring it back up here and then drop the cube here um and i thought that was fine but i also but later on as i was continuing testing i found what was eventually the solution i wanted which is where you have the cube let me move my portal first, where you have the cube here first. Um, and then eventually you want to move the cube to the side a bit so it's not interacting with the laser so that you could get the laser cube and place it here so it's being activating by itself. But um, I found that, you know, doing the part I just did. Actually, I don't know why I should just move it here. This part. Okay, this. There we go. Um, there was a small chance that the cube will, or you could really just like place a portal here on the side, and the cube will be on this button, but not interacting the laser. So you will skip the first rotation of spawning the blue cube. So um, I did not like that. So I found a way. I was like, so I discovered this. How you can put these one by one by four these quarter blocks and put them on either side to force the cube to be in the center the first time. And I found the cube could go be on top of them to still activate. So I was like, all right, that fixes that solution. But then the problem was when you're up here, you can no longer put a cube here or a portal there and oscillate the cube. So I had to find a different way of getting the cube up there the first time. And, you know, I found this, you just walk through here oscillate the cube again, like that, cancel it, and then just use the funnel and do everything I just did. But, um, um, you know, and you know, and I like that, I, th I thought that was fine, but I knew, but I found a way to make it like, like, sorry, like adding another step to it, which is just by raising this by a quarter. 
and that also removes any potential of doing some weird shot like standing over here and shooting a portal on like you know if it's flats because if it's um raised there you know it just it does it doesn't work but if it's flat then um there's a small chance you can place a portal there and you could possibly skip up uh, the part so i don't know that's just how my thought process is with um making tests i just play you know i change something and i play test and play test to make sure it's still possible so anyways all right let's move this portal before i forget there we go so use a null portal And there we go. So now you have the second cube. And the whole point is getting the second cube um, onto this button, activating it itself. Or, you know, activating with that um that laser relay. But first, the laser relay has to be activated. Okay. Fast forward again, sorry if that's really loud. Come on. There we are. And with this, you actually do not want to reset this cube. So you want to carefully do this, slide it out, then out, then back. Because um, if you just remove the cube right away, it'll, um, the laser will hit this laser relay, so resetting the cube too early, and then you have to repeat everything you just did. Oh, shoot. There we go. I just barely made that. There we go. Yeah, some weird things about this map that took me a while to figure out. So, um, if you remember before, uh, the, the first way of spawning the cube, I, you know, I placed the portal here and then the other one here, and I had to cancel the portal or one portal onto the surface that was like bobbing up and down from this um, cube interacting with this button. Um, and I spent a long time with activation and deactivation timers to get it right so that if the cube is bobbing, this laser will be um, hitting this laser relay multiple times, resetting the cube multiple times, and will also be resetting this um, panel multiple times. So it'd be like um, jumping, I guess, and be like, you know, jumping at the cube, and which is unintended because then you can just come over here and quickly grab the cube so without using the funnel to lift the cube off the button and then you could grab the cube. So it took me a while to figure figure that out to get it correct with these um, activation deactivation timers. All right. Anyways, this now you could just carefully do this. So right, this is a deactivation timer. So if you mess up, the cube doesn't reset unless you you know the laser is misaligned for a full second. So it gives you a little bit of breathing room. Which is something the previous oh crap something the previous map um ascension was missing. There we go. And right, it's always good to have something to um that's repeated in the map a few times, and um, that part is this, getting up to this um exit area or sorry not, not the exit area this um this funnel switchy area. There we are. And there's a couple ways of doing this next step, and I'm gonna do the more um, consistent way of doing it. Do this, leave it there. Nice. So that resets twice, cube is flung. There we are. So ghost cubes last longer than a second. So right, there's a one second deactivation timer for this, um, uh, laser cube so that when you're, you're right so the, you don't the laser isn't misaligned for and then you reset the laser cube which is annoying but ghost cubes last longer than a second i don't know it's just math it, it it all worked out in my favor which i really liked actually let me move this back a little bit 
There we are. And then just reuse this funnel again. There we go. Quite like that one. You know, not really a good puzzle, but you know, it's something that I could look back on and like. So now machine. So this one came out before Paradox, the original version, but um, my laptop was stolen that had the this file for this map. So I had to completely rebuild the map on a new laptop. And I just couldn't get the the uh, the file to work, so like to update the map. So I just had to republish it. But this one is probably my best map. You know, I went with this a much much um, simpler, less like, much I don't know, sleeker um, at this um, aesthetics, and that turned out pretty good. And the puzzle itself is actually really good as well. I find it to be. So this map, let me see, was originally inspired by, um, what's his name? Hugo B, Hugo B designer, which is, you know, an older map. And it's like nothing like machine like this one, but it has this, uh, res or the portal button and a light bridge. This one's portal, portal or the portal button and the light bridge. And both of them have one cube. And so I preserved that idea. But um, I thought I was the first to make a map like this that uses um, a cube on a portal button and you lift a, the cube off the button with the light bridge. But um, I think Seamstream like, beat me to it by like a couple months, which I didn't know about. Like beat that idea. Beat me with that. Okay. So come over here. Yeah, I can't remember what Steam Streams map is called. It's like, it's like down, down something, I think. But it's quite good. There we are. Oh yeah, maybe I should have placed a portal magnet here because there's no portal magnet on the surface. There we are. And another thing, um, I forgot to add. So th there's a, a feature in BMOD that's like if you bump to a laser field, you just get bounced back and take damage. But in this one, you just die. So I have to update the map to change that. Which by the time this video is uploaded, um, it'll probably be fixed already. But yeah, this map definitely is one of my best. Um, Ascension uses is um i don't know it's also complicated and uses everything multiple times but it's also really big and resetting the red cube like you have to do that like four or so times it just um it takes a while it's a long somewhat of a long process to reset that red cube so this map i just find it to be much better And right, remember, I, I'm always using this, how you have to use the cube, or like turn up on the cube to get over geometry. I'm always using that. Right, I even did in Paradox. I didn't really have to do that in Paradox, but um, I just wanted to reuse the cubes a little bit more. Yeah, this here is the one thing that's different from the, the previous version. Okay, hold on. I'm li I'm going a little bit too fast. Yeah, I actually want to put this cube on the button first. There we go. So that I could actually stand on this and move that portal so that, um, yeah. So yeah, that's the one thing that's different, that button. That's what I needed it to update it for, just to put an unintended solution. And press this again, come through. Very easy. See that bullfrog if you're watching? Right? Because before it's like um this is like a little bit too tight. let me make sure make it back in time. But apparently that that's a bit too difficult, but whatever. Oh. 
Oh, don't fall off the light bridge. Yeah, I mean, this map, I mean, all my maps I, I spent a, a while on. Okay, actually. So, I design a, my maps in a way that aren't too difficult because if it starts getting to like a level 7 or more difficult than that, then I don't really like playing maps. You know, I don't like playing maps like that, so I don't want to design my maps like that because I just find them to be a lot of trial and error. And if it takes multiple hours to solve, um, I don't really find that fun. You know, I would rather spend 30 minutes to an hour maximum on a test or, or on a puzzle. You know, just so I feel like I'm making progress during the entire time and I'm, you know, experiencing with the new ideas that the map introduces. Because if it's just me um, stuck on one step for like an hour, you know, I don't really find that too much fun. So I don't want to make something that's like overly complicated like that. Okay. And, you know... This map, Machine, Paradox, and Ascension are at like the maximum difficulty I will do for a map. You know, it's just my opinion. You know, a lot of other people like to play those incredibly difficult maps, but you know, they're just not for me. There we are. I also like um, compact maps like this, where you could see everything right away. Um, a lot of those other like level six, level sevens, and above um, are very large, and there's um, a lot of different rooms, and you have to navigate through all of them. It's, it, gets, it gets very complicated very easily. You know, there's a few good ones that are compact. Um, by the time of this video. Um, Leo has made Live and Let Live, which is a, it gives it level 7, which I agree with. I still haven't quite beat it, but since I'm struggling so much with it, I'm sure it's level 7. But um, that map is, you know, it's, I wouldn't say it's very compact, but you could visually see everything, which is really good. There we go, there's a machine. So, right, yeah, that's it. Let me turn down the music. I don't know if it's going to get quieter for you guys, but it will be for me so I can actually focus on talking a little bit. Although I say that, and I don't really know what to talk about. You know, I was going to say, like, what I have for Plan of Future. Yeah, sure, sure. So, uh, there's a glitch test I want to make, but it's going to be kind of difficult to make <laughs> because you need um, a lot of knowledge in um, just not, like, the normal portal mechanics and then, like, the glitchy the exploity portal mechanics and making a puzzle around that is difficult because you have to know everything. Um, and yeah, you know, you know, like I started my the I started that project with a with a drop shot followed by a re portal, um, but I, I just couldn't find a way to set it set that up correctly so that you couldn't just like bunny hop it the entire thing or you couldn't just re portal like I mean like um. The map uh, will have a vertical, right? Yeah, it will have a vertical reportal, but you could also just use a horizontal um, reportal and just skip that entire first part. So I don't know, but there's some things with um, light bridges that I want to do more because there's some cool things about them that aren't really explored much. You know, glitch and glitchless. Uh, there's um, so. These past few maps, I've been experimenting with some like really weird stuff. Like Paradox, it was like that flip panel that launches the cube. Um, Ascension has that ghost cube. And I want to make a map that combines all these um, weird um, mechanics that aren't really explored much. And, live and here, here's the map again, Live and Let Live. Right, uses that turret as part of the solution, and you know, it's something you don't really see too much. So I want to try experimenting with that some, and also some gels. There's some applications of gels that which I don't see too often, but you know, then that'd be a lot of different elements for a test. So I don't know. So this map, I think it turned out pretty good. There's not much I would like to change about it. Um, there's a couple things, maybe like increasing the the button timers, you know, for this one. For all those um, 
less I don't know I don't I don't know what the right word is you know people who aren't as comfortable with the keyboard and mouse you know people who haven't been like sort of kind of speed running the game for a while um, and you know maybe adding auto, auto portal here changing this but I really want to find a way to remove this button but I just haven't been able to do that I don't know I guess that's it really I don't really know what else to say if um, something comes to mind I'll probably just um, film another segment or just put in the description of this video but I guess I will do it thank you for watching